far too long since we've been able to make this. Those moments burned into our minds. Jackson leads one more hit. And it's a point to kill. Those hype moments made in front of the biggest crowds with players' hearts pounding on the biggest stage. You know, the moments that can be described by one phrase. Silence. Expectations be damned. One play. Absolute perfection from Steve. Is he still one show. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Not that. This. Are you kidding me? TSM got the clean ace. The unleashing of fans brings the best to their best. Hearing the roar, there's a big fight, gives you so much more excitement to play. To play in front of that big of a crowd is probably going to be the biggest moment of my life. Everything is bigger. Every kick, every band, every alpha induced moment. This right here is when we find out who is truly built different. Closer grabs another. Abadaga drops. Thursday tries to get away, but FBI has arrived. This man is two hundred. These are gonna be happy with that one. To be the champ, you have to beat the champ, and no one has been able to slow them down. No one can touch the crawl of the jungle. Closer ain't done yet, especially when he's got the Karma King backing him up. And it's three for two for hundred thieves. The bot gap, unreal. An ASOL support god and the 80 carry from a land down under make these kids look like they amateurs. They just elite Santori. And of course, some daddy knows best. Some days here in the middle of everybody. Of these will just not be stopped. We're defending LCS champions. Hundred Thieves! Stars in the sky tonight. Next legendary AD Kiri and North America's hottest mid lane prospect. Evil genius is winning. A title contender. These two are supported by the winningest top laner in LCS history. The LEC MVP turned LCS giant. And a support mastermind who's not afraid to live evil. They're all proof that it's so good. To be bad, evil geniuses! Realms because those are always the calculations you have to make. And now we might just see the Aatrox. I think we're going to get the Aatrox. Yeah. There it is. So that's going to get locked in. And it, it will be interesting to see, are they going to still try to play towards the Ornn or just utilize the Aatrox team, that winning 1v1 to push him in, to kind of unlock closer to get done what he wants to do? Uh, because they can try to have these set plays towards bot, try to get FBI ahead. You know, they have the range support advantage, so that should be a winning 2v.
shenanigans. Santorin, of course, known for those you know, early ganking trundle plays, and Closer can emulate that too. Down here, you're gonna Whoa. see FBI taking a lot of damage. Flash out fast, but now the counterattack comes through, and oh, it's Danny left with 100 HP, and it's Mark Blood to the 100th D. FBI bends the bullet, tags him with the sniper Q around the minion. And working yeah. their way through the lower bracket, but this instantly gets you up to speed. FBI flashes the W from Vulcan, so only who he gets hit, and then on the exchange going oh. out. Beautiful shot there between the minions off of Hookie's setup there. And then Hookie knows. Hey, if that's your biggest problem, you got some first world problems. 100 Thieves starting off good here at four minutes. But now we've already got the play, and both sides are getting involved. Abadaga's going to be taken low, but the counterattack comes out, and it's Jojo killed first. 100 Thieves are up to nothing. This they have to know that this is going on right now, and yeah. four members strong moving that way. They've got mid push. 100 Thieves still on the drink, still looking to commit, but over the wall, Inspired's ready to go. It will be secured by Closer and 100 Thieves, but FBI's already going to be taken very low, and he won't be able to be saved. Closer now about to drop. Evil geniuses punish the play as the Orn Horn sounds, and Abadaga flashes away. But you can't say the same for who he. That's a free kill play for EG. That's true. TP. It's six minutes. It's in, he PPs defensively to their tower and is still able to get involved. I will say that then, during this replay, we expect Aatrox to get a turret play on top side and push in those minions since the teleport was used, but first things first, Smite secure on the Dragon. Closer does get it, but EG was such a good flank around the back of Dale. And FBI didn't have sums from the previous play, so he gets taken out almost immediately, and then Impact arrives on the teleport, forces the flash from Abadaga, CCs up Huhi, and you can tell they're giving it to Danny. They yeah. know this The is eyeball is ready to be hit, but they're not hitting it just yet. Okay, that one's gonna get proc now. Eyeball will not show again. It's low enough HP. That's not going to pop up. Super Mega Death Rocket thrown out into the mix, and now the Twisted Fate ulti is going to be coming in. Jojo taking the Realm Warp, looking to find his way into the other side, but the burst comes out. He's going to be taken low, but he's not gone yet. Closer flashes away. Someday kill Jojo. 100 Thieves have found the mid laner and haven't lost a man just yet, but FBI finally oh, lost the impact. The impact's dead now with a double kill back coming to Someday. Inspire jumps in and Closer's under pressure. 100 Thieves getting themselves away. No Danny flash. still looking to make the moves. The Rockets onto Abadaga. They just want to give the kill over to Danny. <laughs> oh, just playing with them. Want we'll to try to reset and go towards this next. It is very worth mentioning, though, that Aatrox can be a mid-game carry. Someday collected two kills here. Mm -hmm. So watch the Aatrox. Watch Someday from the 100 Thieves side because they also get two extra kills for themselves. The Smite goes down. They get the Rift Herald. FBI is able to claim it. The Ultimate comes through and they zone him out. And Jojo takes the initiative, goes right in, gets, gets the zone just to buy a little bit of time, but Someday immediately flashes him, gets that kill, and chases him down. And someday, flashing forward there actually was so critical because there were so many low health bars on 100 Thieves, and that actually zoned Danny out. It forced the usage of Vulcan's ult defensively there, pushed him back, and does end up saving at least a couple of them as Closer and Huhi are able to get away on really low health bars. So even though this money for EG goes in the correct place... They get it was good timing, though, from Vulcan. You know, if he's a little bit slow on that, doesn't get the Devourer before it hits him, could have been in trouble. Closer now, wrapping around, Ooh. looking for the dive. Closer is hungry for this one, and he's bringing everybody to dinner. Abadaga shows up for the gold card over the wall, but <laughs> Impact just swag walks out of it. Did you see Plates it? are gone as of now, but they got all those plates from the different sides. Impact's trying to go after FBI oh, God, here. No. Follow-up coming in from Vulcan, and FBI gets Knocked on over. From the play because they got first tower. It's all concentrated on Danny, which makes it that much more valuable. He actually already hit his second item. We can watch this one more time. Impact setting up with the ulti, Vulcan following through. Yeah, long range there during the knockup, able to layer the W knockup from Vulcan. There's zero chance FBI gets out of that. 100 Thieves. Okay, Sweeper from Abadaga is going to see Vulcan prowling through the jungle there. He's there too. The catfish has been caught a little bit. Of course, that's not the target you can engage on, so Charge it's out. easy to win. And if 100 Thieves don't commit enough members up here to defend, they can potentially look for the push, but they're going mid. All righty, FBI trying to get himself away. The flash gets him out. Right, flash. that's one of the big things about Bramble Vest is you don't have the ability to apply the Grievous oh, they're proactively. That chain is big. Someday's in some trouble. Where is it going to be? He gets away for now. Doesn't even have to use the flash, but the ulti's gone. But still, you know, 100 Thieves losing control of the map here. We'll see oh. if they can find some sort of an X-Factor play. I mean, they, they do have Huhi with this ultimate. If they can catch someone critical. Nope, doesn't happen. Ahead. 
the breakpoints in the game in the itemization are really what matters. And once FBI oh, gets looking for JoJo's the going. Oh, someday with the dash over the wall, but now a different fight has already started. Danny grabbing the auto attacks. The range of the rockets has found closer, and the super mega death rocket claims his life. There's the impact reset. over on the FBI. He's trying to get away, but he cannot do it. Renato is too little, too late, and it's three for nothing, EG. to try to take this guy down if you can punish that. Someday's looking for a flanking angle. It does have his GA. It, let's see how it plays out. TP coming in. Danny's firing off the super mega death rocket. It's going to be stolen from the LEC MVP as they make their entry. JoJo's got the lockdown on Abadaga, but he will Where be able to get away. Someday's coming in from behind, but EG can only go forward. Knock, knock, FBI. It's Danny. Double kill to start off the fight. And he ain't done yet. Inspired chases who he as Abanaga tries to get away. Someday might be a raid boss, but EG's ready to hit. go mythic. Go for the Abadaga tries to run. Inspired just flexes on him. And EG just won the game. You can run, you can hide, but Danny is coming for you. EG marching down mid. They're going to take game number one. Realm at the same time, get right up to the turrets, and game one is already but a memory.